1911, the couturier Paul Poiret introduced the lampshade skirt to a Europe crazed by the succès fou of Le Ballet Russe. Fiercely exotic, the Ballet Russe had influenced everything from art to interior design. It was only a matter of time before fashion fell under its sway. Add to that the immense popularity of the tango, the erotic meeting the exotic, and you have a perfect recipe for Poiret's pre-war seraglio of hobble skirts and wire hem tunics. The thousand and second night had truly begun. Exactly a hundred years later, and doesn't fashion love an anniversary, Merica Transu had her own mad success with a lampshade swinging about a woman's hips. Of course, the former inspired the latter, to a degree. Katransu's spring 2011 collection aimed to put a room on a woman. The lampshade skirt was therefore a logical conclusion to Katransu's aesthetic conundrum. The references to Leon Bach's dramatic costumes for Diaghilev's Ballet Russe are entirely appropriate. After all, fashion is made to be seen in motion, and the fringed hem of Katransu's skirt, much like Poiret's, entices a viewer. Un peu de mouvement, like a hula skirt, to borrow Diana Vreeland's description of her debutante gown after Poiret. The shape itself references Victorian lamps. Katransu originally planned to model a print on the lampshade, but eventually the garment sprang straight from print to reality, embroidered, quilted, and embellished to the hilt. That willful extravagance inevitably references the 80s, the last great flush of decoration. Christian Lacroix's celebrated, reviled, and now revived poof skirt is an immediate antecedent. The historicism of Lacroix's approach is reflected here too, the lampshade jutting at the hips in the manner of 18th century panniers, a mini mantua perhaps, given that this hemline barely grazes the thigh. Certainly, the construction techniques are almost equal to those employed by Rose Bertin to give the toilette of Marie Antoinette an unparalleled magnificence stiffened, boned, and wired to almost abstraction. Abstraction is perhaps the wrong term. This silhouette is resolutely, traditionally feminine, the swaying motion of the skirt reminiscent of a Victorian crinoline. Enough historical cross-referencing. What does this skirt mean in the wider scheme of fashion circa right now? A return to structure, to volume, and to exuberance, casting off the shackles of minimalism, reductionism, and the long shadow of the great camel coat. In short, it means we're having a good time again. Come to think of it, that's exactly what Paul Poiret was all about too.